In February 2016, the Revolutionary Student Movement at UPEI initiated a united front for abortion access. Working with affiliates of the Campus Alliance for Reproductive Justice, the PEI Reproductive Rights Organization, the Abortion Rights Coalition of Canada, and Abortion Access Now PEI, we organized a demonstration which took place on March 8th, International Working Women's Day, to raise the struggle for abortion access. It's totally respectable abortion. It's simple as the BNC. You see, abortion. The need is something serious. Abortion. Your reluctance is mysterious. Abortion. It's certainly worth the trouble that it takes. What a day! The rally started on Kent Street at 4 o'clock, where we distributed signs flags, and the now iconic red braids and bandanas of the militant Anne of Green Gables street art created by a local artist known only as I Am Carrots. We started by singing an abortion-themed parody of the Ice Cream Song from Anne, and then began our march down Great George Street, past the Province House, and toward the Gentlemen's Club on King Street. Speeches were given over a megaphone by a few participants. The demonstration ended with a scream choir to put the frustration and rage of the masses on display. Um, an awareness um, or shining a light on, on various types of, of oppression that we're still uh, struggling against, and uh, so it makes uh, sense to have a march today. This demonstration, however, does not signify the pinnacle of the struggle we are waging for reproductive justice and against patriarchy. Capitalism and patriarchy have developed together out of the same historical process as a dual system of exploitation and oppression. As long as there is capitalism, there will be an economic system in which patriarchy can flourish. And as long as there is patriarchal oppression, there will be a society that favors capitalist exploitation. It is only by smashing both capitalism and patriarchy through communist revolution that we can end gender oppression and secure a future that is free from exploitation and oppression. We will continue organizing demonstrations like these to bring more proletarian women and other gender oppressed people into the mass struggle for liberation. Guided by Marxism, Leninism, Maoism, and proletarian feminism, we must wage an endless struggle against all forms of oppression to build socialism and communism.